brothers Sean and Rory are practicing their golf skills on a sunny summer afternoon. My really like using drivers. You like using drivers? Yeah. I I like mini golf personally because it's more of the tapping than actually like swinging it as far as you can. You know, show me how you can do it. This Victoria family's been through a lot in the past year after little Rory was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia last July. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to endure. Yeah. There's nothing comparable. It's definitely a, a life-changing um, diagnosis for a whole family. They spent several months in Vancouver for treatment and have been back and forth numerous times. It's been quite hard because, like, nothing has pretty much gone easy during it. Just want to go about that far. Sean's been a great big brother, and throughout this difficult journey, this family and hundreds of others have had the support of the Island Kids Cancer Association. Our goal is to provide really practical support for families uh, with a child who is having a cancer diagnosis. And in terms of support, this means things like food and fuel vouchers and um, things like uh, programming for kids so that they can have that connection. IKCA also provides free counseling for the entire family and vital connections for parents. Just, you know, speaking with other families that have gone through the same journey um, and seeing that, there, you know, there's hope at the end. Things would have been like 10 to 20 times harder if not for them. Because at the hospital, they would supply like snacks, toys and stuff. To help support island families, IKCA is having its second annual golf tournament fundraiser at Cordova Bay Golf Club August 16th. So this is our largest fundraiser of the year and it really does supply a lot of our funds for the year so that we can keep making um, impact in these families' lives and so that we can broaden that impact and make sure that no one walks through this journey alone. Rory is still in treatment but no longer has to go to Vancouver. He's on track to start kindergarten in September and his prognosis is good. He's such a tough guy. He's got this bracelet and it, uh, one of the cancer br br bracelets saying I never give up. And you know some days he's, he's had a really hard time and he's like you know mom I'll never give up. So yeah he's been a trooper throughout it all. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.